hello okay so this is my shop with me video that I upload every single Saturday I actually did a little bit of shopping yesterday with my two youngest kids it was a shit show because they always um, put stuff in my cart and I'm always like frazzled trying to find all my coupons and my lists and so we got stuff that we normally wouldn't have got because they were with me uh, but I want to show you what we got yesterday. I'm just, I just kind of like scanned through the things that we got and I'll just kind of voice over that section. And then this morning we went to Dollar General and to Walmart and got a few things there too. And normally we don't make this many grocery trips, but there's a few factors that are involved. There are lots of really good deals happening right now. And with the holidays coming up and the cold weather happening, I will be making less trips to the store because I'm not all about going out into the freezing ass cold to go shopping for food. I just don't want to do that. I want to have things stocked up here and we can just hunker down and be cozy in our house and um, make more time to do the dishes that still aren't done. You know, do the things that need to be done instead of running all over the place. So anyways, let's get into that video. I'm going to show you what we got yesterday and today and I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you guys like finding all of the deals. I also started a Patreon. I will put the link down below. It is just brand new, newly started. I will start adding things in there this evening when I get sat down. Uh, so I can show you all of the deals, all of the coupons, all of the things that I do. I get lots of cash back rewards. I get lots of things super cheap, things that I don't show you on here just because it's a lot and it's overwhelming and I don't want my YouTube channel to be just saturated with that. I want to show everybody how we live and, and the things that we do too. You know, lots of other things, decorating animals, kids, stuff recipes, all the things. We also have a website called uh, nightfallhomestead.com, so go check that out as well. But definitely check the description down below. I have a few really awesome things happening down there that you need to be a part of. Let's see what we got in our shopping trips. Okay, I tried to slow this down a little bit so I could go. So obviously we got some eggs. Our hens don't lay as much when it's winter time. We got a box of fish sticks and these Jack's pizzas were on sale. Not only were they on sale, but it gets us some money back on our fuel for our vehicles. So I picked up a few of those. I got a big thing of half and half. We make a lot of chowders and cream based soups in the winter time. Um, some cream cheese, it was on sale through our Hy-Vee app. All of this stuff here is through the store mm -hmm. Hy-Vee. Some creamer, because y'all know I be loving me some coffee. These Craven things, I think were free. Yes, if you're a Hy-Vee Fuel Saver member, here's some grass-fed, grass-finished ground beef. And this bison, ground bison, was also on super duper sale. I got two things of milk. Our milk section had like nothing in it, so I kind of panicked and grabbed a couple. Got some apple juice. Kids love the apple juice. The butter was on sale for half the price that it normally is, so I grabbed four of those. And I got two salted, two unsalted. What else did I get? I got this thing of heavy whipping cream. Again, we make lots of cream-based soups. I make an amazing potato chowder. You guys just have to try it. It's so good. I'll put the recipe up on my website at some point. Some mild cheddar cheese because why not? We love cheese. These uh, milk chocolates, uh, chocolate chips were on sale as well. Everything I'm showing you is on sale. These were two for a dollar. 50 cent mac and cheese. We love that. And I think I got this stuffing mix for like 50 cents or something like that. You guys, if you go to Hy-Vee, you need to just get the Fuel Saver and get the Hy-Vee app. Tons of really amazing coupons. I show you that on the Patreon. Um, those two fudge brownie mixes were also on sale. I did pick up some sweet peas that were not on sale through the app, but we didn't have very many peas left. The pumpkin was on sale, and so were these disinfecting wipes, and also one can of cream of mushroom soup. And then I think I also got, oh yeah, some hot cocoa mix and some pizza crust was like 17 cents for each one of them. Memphis threw in some pop tarts and the sugar was also super duper cheap. And of course some Japanese snacks and some minced onion. We're gonna, I'm gonna show you what we got. Kai! No, Kai. I'm gonna show you what we got. At the grocery store but uh, I have these frozen noodles listen I've never made these frozen noodles before I'm gonna have to get the okay I'm just gonna show you the frozen noodles real quick <laughs> <laughs> so I can put them away 
Anyways, I always make my own noodles, always. And I, ha I made up a whole bunch last time, so I had extra, but then I ended up sending them with my older kids so they could cook them at their house. So I have stuff happening on my table today, so I don't wanna, I don't wanna take the time or the space to make noodles. So I got these, they are frozen egg noodles, and we're gonna put them with this um, roast that I made in my brand new Pioneer Woman crock pot that I got for $4. That was pretty amazing. Actually, I think it was cheaper than four bucks. It was just like the shipping I had to pay. Um, and I'll put a link down below how you can get that crock pot. I'll put a picture over here because it's so beautiful and I love it. Uh, but let's get the roast out of this uh, fridge and then I'll show you all the things we got. We went to Dollar General, we went to Walmart, and we got some really great deals today. This comes out of a, an entirely different part of the building, so I didn't want to go inside and, you know, just confuse everybody involved by picking it up in there. So we just stopped here before we went in to do our regular shopping, and this guy here brought me our order. Okay, we are on my floor, it's just easier that way. So, first we're going to start with... Um, the fall seasonal stuff at Walmart, you guys, was ridiculously cheap. It's 90% off, um, and my store still had some really great things there. So this basket, for instance, you guys, I still have another, like, what? Today is the 12th. I still have a couple of weeks that I can um, have this up, and it'll be awesome for next year. This was only, like, $2.40. Original price was $24.95. Uh, yeah, 24, $24.54 is what it was. This is a nice, big, wreathy basket. I'm going to kind of uh, secure this a little bit better. It's kind of wobbly on here. But it's cute, right? $25 wreathy, hangy, baskety thing for less than 3 bucks. Yes. Yes, that is a win in my book. Also, uh, this thing right here was $10 originally. It's just a little house with, like, some faux eucalyptus leaves. It says, bless all who gather here. And I think this is more than just like a fall decoration. We could do something really cute with this at any point in time in the year. And then we got all of these picks. You guys, picks can get expensive. So so make, say you're making a wreath or, or um, a centerpiece or whatever. This actually is, came in perfect timing because I have this centerpiece thing that I want to make for my table. And... Fine, you can buy picks at Dollar General or Dollar Tree or even Walmart for relatively cheap, but when you're getting 10, 12, 20 picks at a time, you might as well just buy the damn thing already put together and it'd probably be cheaper that way. These picks were anywhere from 9 cents to 11 cents for picks. That's when you want to get this stuff. Like, if you, if you can't, if you don't get clearance stuff, then fine. Go get the Dollar Tree. I do it all the time. I get picks all through the seasons, all through the years, and get picks at a dollar, dollar twenty-five or whatever, three dollars sometimes, depending on where I'm at. <clears throat> but if you guys can hit stores up during their clearance times, look at these. These are so pretty, and we're gonna be able to make some really great things with this for many years to come. So picks, I got plenty of those. We also got this was only 54 cents. I mean, this would even look cute in my little centerpiece thing that I want to do too. Super cute, right? Pumpkin. And listen, Dollar Tree picks are fine. Dollar Tree florals are fine. But the quality of them is just not even sort of the same as if you were to go to Walmart or Hobby Lobby or something like that. So I like that I got something cheaper than I would at Dollar Tree and the quality is even better. I don't have to do anything to this to zhuzh it up at all if I didn't want to. Um, we got a bunch of styrofoam pumpkins for anywhere from nine cents to 11 cents. I craft with these all the time. Tons and tons of those. Some more picks. These, uh, it's a little like bag of foam pumpkins and pine cones. These were just, I think these were 11 cents. And this one's taped up for whatever reason. And then I felt really bad. I was over in the grocery section. I was over in the grocery section. We were at the bread. We were looking at the discounted like bakery items. And this little, this little old sweet lady was like looking in my cart and we had just started grocery shopping. So, you know, we, we were looking for like deals is why we went over to the grocery section. We didn't plan on like getting stuff. Um, what was that? Memphis? Yeah. What was that? Do you have your case on it? Yep. Do you? 
Okay. I found it. It was under that. I've been looking for it forever. Okay. Anyways, we didn't plan on like grocery shopping. We planned on looking to see what the deals were, or seeing if there's any clearance stuff, and there was. And we got a few more things too. So, anyways, this lady's like peeking in my cart, right? And so I turn, we catch eyes with each other, and she's like, "Sorry, I was just being snoopy and seeing what you got." She's like, "Is all that stuff on sale right now?" I said, "Yeah, it's ninety percent off right now." And she's like, "I, I, I never end up making it clear to that end of the store." And I was like, "Oh, I always start on that end, like you know, laughing with her, or whatever." She's like, "I work over here in the deli section, so when I leave, I just leave out this way, and I never go through the store and look at any of that stuff." And then I felt bad because she's like going that way. And I didn't leave. <laughs> I didn't leave very much stuff for her. There were some foam pumpkins left. Oh, Halloween too. Not just fall stuff. Halloween was all 90% uh, off too. So I got these things. Memphis. Here's these like Memphis and Ricky. Spiky Halloween balls. Just don't let Foxy get them. I bet the cats would play with them. These were like 11 cents or something. Whoa. And are they like balls? I don't know what they are. Just fun little balls. <laughs> Jake got this uh, jar shaker lid for 70 cents, I think. It's a shaker cap you put on your mason jar. I always drink water with some honey in it just to sweeten it up a little bit. And so I always have to have a plastic bottle or a bottle because none of my cups have lids on them. And he was like, then you could just put your water in a jar and use this. Good idea. 70 cents for that. This was uh, 11 cents too, I think. Super cheap. It's just like a cutting board. It, it says, give us this day our daily bread. Super adorable. Probably use that for a craft next fall. And then they had these Halloween fabrics on sale, which I won't use this year. But this was also only like 11 cents or something like that. Super cheap. It has the sugar skulls on it. So yeah, that was great. So that was our Walmart crafty stuff. And then, so we ended up going over... I, we, we did lots of clearance shopping, you guys. We do, there's so much clearance and like glitch clearance that is marked wrong. It's priced wrong. And so Jake and I will go into a Walmart with no intention at all of like what we're going to buy. We'll just scan the clearance stuff. For instance, like this. This was only 70 cents. Because sometimes you'll find things that are priced wrong and get them even cheaper than what they're marked down as. <clears throat> and I teach you guys all about that in my Patreon, if you guys want to join my Patreon and learn all about that more one-on-one -on -one and more in an open environment that I can't really talk about and be open about here on YouTube. Then we find our way over to the grocery section of Walmart. And so the first things we see after we get our breads are these family size Count Chocula. And then they have these strawberry ones. These reminded me of when I was a kid. We never got candy cereal at our house when we were a kid when we were kids but my friends did my friends all got good cereal we did not we had either Wheaties Kicks Life or Raisin Bran that's the only cereal it's in Grape Nuts that's the only cereal that my dad would buy so these were a dollar 19 for a family sized box of cereal and they had like a huge palette of both flavors so we got four I felt like we got five of them maybe we didn't Looks like we got four of those, so four dollars and some change for four boxes of food. And then we got the discounted bakery items. Bud! Bud! Bud's not supposed to be on that side of the gate. He pees on stuff. Bud! Bud! You stay over here. We got these French breads. I like to use these either to make... Uh, bread puddings with, like to make dried bread crumbs, your own dried bread crumbs, or stuffing. I also like to use these on spaghetti night and make garlic bread out of them. These were only a dollar. You cannot have them. You gotta move. I can't see. I can't see what I'm doing. I can't see what I'm doing. It was in my way. We got some other... Oh, we also got my dad some stuff that I didn't... I don't have here to show you. So we got my dad some sardines. We got him some cookies from this bakery rack that were cheap. They were a couple bucks. And what else did we get him? I was going to get him a pie, but I figured it would be a super messy thing for him to have. Get back! Um, so we got these, an apple, two apple danishes. Be good for breakfast tomorrow or a snack tonight after supper. They were $2.75 each. Okay. 
Okay. And then loaves of bread are super cheap at Walmart. Again, I don't like to buy bread because I make bread, but, oh, here's another French, oh, no, it's a different one. It's sliced Italian bread. This also was a dollar. But on the days that I don't feel like making bread or we run out because the kids and Jake eat lots and lots and lots of it, it's nice to have this bread frozen in. I think Jake uses it for his lunch as well. So we got a few loaves of bread that was just a dollar ten. And then, okay, so we got some bulk items like we normally do. It's just cheaper that way. We got some bulk sized ranch and some syrup for pancakes. And then I saw this pancake mix that was just at water. And I thought this would be better storage for us instead of having the boxes of it take up space on the pantry. This would be better for us, especially if we can find uh, an empty food grade bucket, we could maybe use that to put that in. And then Jake and I found ourselves in the ethnic, what, what would you call that? Ethnic aisle? Yeah. The ethnic foods aisle, where there's lots of things that we never have eaten or seen. And they looked really amazing. So we got some to try them. Not me, Jake and the kids. We got this I don't even know how to say it. We got this. It's just basically a chocolate covered marshmallow on a stick. It's a smiley face. It's got like smiley uh, gummy eyes and gummy mouth. And, and it's like a moon pie on a stick. So we got those. And we did get real moon pies because they were in the, they were in the middle and they were cheap. I don't remember how much they were. Not very much, but Jake likes moon pies. So we got those. What else did we get? Jake grabbed some giant olives. Are these spicy? Jalapeno stuffed olives. Does not sound amazing to me. We, so there was this whole section of kosher food items. And sometimes I'm a sucker for packaging. They tell you that packaging is important and that is legit because I got this all natural sea salt. Sea salt. It's not iodized sea salt. And it is kosher, I believe. Was the salt kosher? I don't see a K on it anywhere. Oh yeah, K and D. So kosher salt. So basically that means that, that anything that has been blessed by a rabbi is kosher. It's like a, it's a religious thing, yeah? yeah Jewish. Jewish. Anyways, so I got this salt because it's got a cute bag, and I'll repurpose this bag someday and turn it into something super cute for my kitchen. It'll be adorable. And then, what else did we get? Guys, we got something really cool. Oh, here it is. Look what I found while we were over there. So, the, like, Mexican food spot had so many amazing things. So, they had these big things, and everything was cheap in, the, in like, the Mexican section. It, like these uh, marshmallow face on a stick. They were cheap. This beef bouillon. Remember the other day I was telling you guys I needed to get some powdered bouillon because it's just easier to use. So these were way cheap. Super cheap. Like just getting a couple of the small cubes would have cost the same amount as this. Or same, you know, this. Yeah. The small containers of the cube ones would have been the same price. And then we have a chicken bouillon. But check this out. What is this? What is tomato bouillon? What does that mean? I want to open it and smell it. Is it like a tomato base, like for <laughs> stews or soups? <laughs> now I need to know. I want to Google it and make something with it. <laughs> Bella, good girl. The dogs are always barking and stuff while I'm doing videos, and it. I usually just go on with my video because it's very normal for me for the dogs to just be barking. Oh yeah, it's tomato. I don't know if you guys can see that. See it? It's like, it's almost like the tomatoes ground up, like that I have here that I can grind, the, my dried tomatoes. Anyways, I thought that was really cool. These were cheap, maybe like five bucks or something like that. We also, Jake and I were talking about... Uh, Vienna sausages and spam and how people don't like them and I, we think it's because it's like a canned meat so people think like mm. 
but so wait for, game, wait. for what? To do the tires. So I need a stool, a stem. I need a core removal tool. All right. I can't find mine. The boys have one. I can buy. And then we both were like, we like those things. So we got some spam. We like, I like to have spam like for breakfast with eggs, like fried spam with scrambled eggs or, you know. What? How else do people eat spam? This one's like a spam, fried spam. burger, fried, fried spam, spam burger. And then we got some Vienna sausages. They weren't very expensive either. Everything at Walmart is, we go to Walmart and everything is so much cheaper. So much cheaper. This was on sale, a twin pack of turkey stuffing. We have a pork stuffing, I think, down in the pantry. Is that it? And then I got some almond bark because almond bark here is super expensive and I'm sure it will also go on sale at some point here in our local area. But just in case, plus it's always something that I want to like have on hand. And my kids discovered that this is yummy. And then over the summer, they slowly whittled away at the little bit of almond bark I had from last year, last like Christmas season. So straight after Thanksgiving, we will start working on making uh, lots of Christmas treats. We really, really love the covered pretzels. The best, they're literally the best. And it requires lots of almond bark. So we grabbed some of those. We also got this in the like, mexican -y section. It's garlic salt. This was also cheap. Why Everything in the Mexican section was cheap. And so I'm super excited to try this too. I just got some garlic salt and opened it. So we'll wait till that's gone to open this up and try. And then in the clearance sections, you know, there's, oh, we also got this in the Mexican section because, you know, we're trying to dupe the Ponchero's burritos, right? You guys know that? But the, the chipotle peppers and ancho sauce, is so freaking hot, I cannot handle it. We even removed the peppers last time and just used the sauce, it was way too hot. So this is just a red chili sauce. So we're gonna see if this does any better. Like maybe we just need to get rid of the chipotle flavor altogether. Maybe it's just the pepper, the type of pepper that's too hot for me. So just another red smoky pepper, but hopefully not as hot. I cannot take it, cannot take it. Um. Anyways, in the clearance sections of the food aisles, you can find stuff that's super cheap. I like couscous, it's super delicious, and I use it a lot. And this was only $2 for this big old thing of this. So what is this, a pound? Two pounds, two pounds of couscous. I got two of them, so that'll last for a while. Is that all we got? And none of this stuff was like necessary. We didn't need any of this. Will we use it all? 100% absolutely but this was very kind of unplanned like let's just go see i actually just went to walmart to get this fall stuff because i could see online that it was there and it was super cheap so i wanted to grab it and then of course we did our dollar general haul and today i just got i did the haul actually i kind of mushed two of my scenarios together because they didn't have something that i wanted i really wanted that ember smelling uh Airwick oil, but they didn't have that. They did though. They did after I had checked out. Then that's when I saw it. Are you serious? Anyways, Stop. so we got toilet paper. We got way more toilet paper than this. It's in here. Oh, we have more Walmart stuff. Oh, let's show them the big bag of rice that we got. Can you bring it over here? And then can you take these french fries to the freezer outside? We got a big thing of french fries because Memphis got some fish sticks the other day when we were at Hy-Vee, so this, and then this is the huge thing of rice. Again, a packaging thing. This is super adorable, right? I'm going to make something cute with this. Anyways, um, was this kosher or no? And it resealed and sits back up. And it weighs a million pounds.
we should be done with the groceries. We should not have to get any more for the rest of this month. Um, we have plenty. We have plenty of things. Okay, back to Dollar General. We got lots of TP for our scenarios, and we got uh, Ziploc bags. No, not, not Ziploc. Hefty. Hefty bags. And so I did that. I'm missing one toilet paper and my the Motrin and uh, Hefty Ziploc bags. Okay, so while Jake finds that, I'll show you what he got. Anyways, I, so I checked out with the scenario that I did. Ended up really good. Saved all the money that I needed to save or knew I would save. And then Jake got these, all of the like summer gardening, summer seasonal stuff. It, was it 90% off? Yeah. It was 90% off. So we got potting soil, which is very dry, by the way. It's going to need some love before we can use it. It's very... Uh, yeah, it's not going to absorb water at this point. Very dry, so we'll need to add water, and then we've got all of these seeds, too. Oh, I thought that they were, like, packs of seeds. It's like these pucks of seeds, but they were, like, eight cents or something like that. So Jake got, like, a whole bag of those. Oh, here we go. Here's some more seeds. Here's the packs of seeds. And he ended up spending $6.00. While he was doing his stuff, we tried to look for some penny items, but this store was really clean, so there were no penny items to be had. So we'll try these seeds out next season. Jake found the other Dollar General bag. Here's the two gallon baggies. When I redid the pantry the other day, I used all of our gallon storage baggies, so we needed some more of those. And then we're good on toilet paper for a couple of weeks. And then I also got these. I got my free scope mouthwash. The kids really have been using that, surprisingly. And then Motrin liquid gels because the coupon expired for that today. Or tomorrow it actually expires. And that's what we got. That was our haul for today. Oh no, where's my Grinch? I got this Grinch. Grinch, move! I got this Grinch inflatable super duper cheap online. Let me show you. And super adorable so probably on Thanksgiving Day we'll put this up right bud and I really love the giant Christmas ornaments out in the yard so I want to figure out how to dupe those because they're very expensive like $60 for one ornament so we're gonna try to figure out how to make some giant ornaments and make our outside look pretty too okay that's it goodbye